No, I understand what you're telling me, Tony, but I just find it really ridiculous that you only sell rat burgers. Like, I don't want a rat burger. I want a cheeseburger. Oh, fuck. You know what? Just give me two of the rat burgers. Oh, hey guys, what is up? Big Cheese here with another video. Today we're going to be going through a nice, simple, easy, chill farming method to get six chests as quickly as possible. There's a lot of methods out there right now, guys, for farming legendaries, but this one's easily the most chill. Me and my buddy did it. If you do it with two of you, it's much faster, but it can be done alone. But let's jump straight into it and I'll show you the path. So guys, basically the quickest way to do this is to have two players. I'm going to show you both players' runs right now. So if player one runs this way, straight away from the tower, heads down the hill, Ignoring the first two chests because player two is going to go get those. Like I said, if you're doing the two player method, it's much quicker, but I'm going to show you both paths so you can solo it. It just takes a little longer when you're soloing it. Run all the way around the corner here. It takes around about the same amount of time for player one to loot the two chests we're going to do as it does player two to loot the other chests and trigger the boss. I'm going to run around here now. So it's taken us exactly 60 seconds to get from the tower to here. Our first chest. Second chest is literally around the corner from it. Open that up. What are we going to get? White and an iron. Okay, so that's player one's path over and done with, guys. Let's go back to the tower to see player two's path. Okay, guys, so here we are back at the tower. So while you're running the first path, you're going to want to get your buddy to run this path for these two chests here. One up here. And one down here in the water. Then player two is going to want to run back up to the tower. because There's one more chest to grab before we trigger the boss. Don't forget, meanwhile, your other buddy's running the first two chests we showed in the video. Just to make this as quick as possible. Chest number three on the player two path round here. And then you're going to wait here until your buddy says, I've got the two chests, let's trigger the boss. You trigger the boss, it's going to drag you both in, beat his ass, and I'll see you guys to, for the location of the sixth chest. And once you've whipped that guy's ass, guys, the sixth chest is down here. And that is all the chests in this farming run for you. So there you have it guys, uh, that's my favorite farming method for farming legendaries. It's a bit less boring, a bit less repetitive, it's way more chill. You can do other things in the background, like watch the football, watch Netflix, whatever you want to do. It doesn't take much concentration, plus you've got a buddy with you to chat to while you're doing it, if you're doing it two player. But it can definitely be done solo guys, and it's really quick as well. That's the most important thing, it doesn't take too much time. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did, hit that sub button. Hit that like button for me and hit that bell for live notifications on any videos going up and more Outriders content moving forward. And I hope to see you next time.